Take a walk down a grocery store aisle, and you'll probably see one word popping up over and over again on food packaging. That's the word natural. Natural is used in food packaging to convey a sense of freshness, purity, or nutritional quality. But there's one thing that you won't see natural associated with, and that's color. I'm Nick Reitz from the University of California, Davis, and today we'll be taking a look at the natural color conundrum why you don't see the word natural associated with color on food packaging. As consumers, we use color to inform our choices about foods. Take these bananas, for example. In black and white, it's difficult to judge a banana's ripeness. But add a splash of color, and you can tell that these are nice, yellow, ripe bananas. Similarly, producers add color to food and packages to try and entice consumers and tell them something about their product. Today we'll be talking about color added directly to the food. There's two major types of colorings, artificial colorings and natural colorings. The phrase artificial colorings refers to compounds that do not exist in nature, but are synthesized specifically for their color characteristics. These include the FDNC numbered colorings, such as Blue 1 and Red 40. These are widely used in food products because of their stability over time, but due to their synthetic origin, some consumers prefer our second class of colorants, naturally occurring colorants. Natural colorings refers to compounds that exist in nature and are used specifically for their color characteristics. Most are plant-based and familiar to the average consumer. Examples include chlorophyll, which is green, and carotenoids, which are red, orange, or yellow. Some naturally occurring colorants do not come from plant sources as in the case of carmine, which comes from the cochineal insect. These insects live on cactuses and can be ground into a fine red powder, which can be added to food products to give it a nice red color. So by now you may be wondering, if there are naturally occurring colorants, why can't labels say that foods are naturally colored? To answer this, we'll need to enter the realm of food philosophy. Let's say you're in the kitchen one day, and you have an idea. You want to make a beautiful pink strawberry smoothie, package it, and sell it to the masses. You take some strawberries, add some leafy greens for the nutrition and to entice more consumers, and throw them in a blender. You expect to get a nice pink colored smoothie. Unfortunately, what you find is that it's not pink, but instead a dull gray green. The strawberries are obviously very red, but by adding the leafy greens, you've changed this from an enticing pink color to a dull gray green that's not going to attract many consumers. To turn this into that nice red smoothie you've been looking for, you add a little bit of carmine, that red powder from the insects on the cactuses. You now have a nice red smoothie, and it's been colored with a natural colorant. You take this to your local marketing department and tell them that you have a nice naturally colored product. They love the smoothie, because who wouldn't like a strawberry smoothie? But they tell you that sadly, you cannot call it naturally colored. Each food has a natural color to it, based on its ingredients and processing. In our case, our food's natural color is that dull gray green. By adding colorant, we've changed its natural color, and thus we must call it artificially colored even if our colorant is from a natural source. To quote guidelines from the FDA, since all added colors result in an artificially colored food, we would object to the declaration of any added color as food or natural. While these regulations may seem counterintuitive at first, this ensures that producers have to be honest about the colors of their foods and can't try and pass off an artificially colored food as natural. This, in turn, allows consumers to make better choices about their foods. These guidelines are in place so that we can continue to enjoy the beautiful color of our foods.